Hey guys, welcome back to my Dream Game in Scratch Part 2. Today I got a lot of things done. So, first of all, I created this new type of bee enemy design and created a simple animation for its fly and some simple code that goes to player X and player Y. So, we'll just glide over to you in game. As you can see here, it looks pretty good. You get a coin, and then I focused a lot on level design over these the past few days, and I thought I got a lot done. Next up, I wanted to create some sort of NPC type thing that would give you this here axe because I wanted to create more diversity in weapons. So this axe will cost 5 coins, but if you buy it, you're probably not going to be able to get the scythe from the shop that I showed you last devlog. So just be mindful of that. But yeah, here it is in game, you're going to see. So I decided I'd make it a yellow mushroom person and here it is. So basically, once you talk to him, you spare, and you just get the axe. It's that simple. All I had to do was make some nice code. Uh, I won't bore you with it. So Next thing I wanted to do is a big improvement. I decided to make a mini boss. So this mini boss shoots out like a shockwaves. I used the clone mechanic in Scratch to create it, and so I also created a health bar. So when you hit it every like every so like 1.5 seconds, it does damage. But if you die to the slime boss, uh, his health resets. So be careful. Remember to jump over those shockwaves. Don't get hit by them. And you're going to have to test it out in game. The next thing I did was create two new test enemies. One that disappears here. It's supposed to be an eyeball. I might redesign that. And a mole that I think turned out really well. The mole will travel underground at you. And you'll have to test that out too. Finally, I made some sound. Listen up. Okay guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this devlog. Um, so this was my idea for the final boss. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I think this looks insane. Um, tell me if I should change it or what else I should do. Thanks for watching. Bye.